Hello and welcome to Pagati TV. I'm your host Kaya Ndubane, and as usual, I have um, Tsepana at Sepon Soleng, our resident analyst. A penalty by Dean Feman and a goal by Temba Zwane gave Bafana Bafana a 2 1 win against Mali in the Nelson Mandela Challenge down at Port Elizabeth. And Tsepana, it was not only uh, a first win for, 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 for Mlifu and Seki, but uh, Bafana Bafana, I think they did the reason blow up. Your thoughts on the game? Uh, sure, Baki, and uh, thanks for coming to the show once again, as always. Uh, a convincing victory for Bafana Bafana. I think they really played well, you know, uh, against a Mali side, which consists of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, overseas-based players. I mean, they brought their uh, uh, best squad, you know, uh, uh, here in the country. And I think, you know, Bafana Bafana, uh, I mean, they held their own the day. And, you know, uh, uh, beautiful penalty taken by, uh, you know, uh, Dean Fim and, uh, and uh, you know, Temba Zwani just sealing the victory for Bafana Bafana. I think it was very convincing, and you know, it's a it's a, it's a step in the in the right path for 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 for, for health coach uh, Monifin Zeki, who is on a new job. And I think you know, if you if you win, you know, first time win for him, it will, it will give you know Bafana Bafana supporters you know hope, and and you know that you know Monifin Zeki will be the right man to take Bafana Bafana to you know higher levels. Monifin well, Zeki, the right man to take Bafana Bafana to higher levels. Um, let's talk about. Uh, uh, Silero, um, uh, he has been hiding somehow, but uh, we saw the, 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 the old Silero, perhaps said, uh, was it uh, um, a question of a new coach and a new broom? Giving him confidence to, to play like that. <laughs> you know, you know what they say. You know, when when there's, there's usually a new coach in the team, you know, players then uh, seem, you know, or tend, you know, rather to 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 hide their game view because they want to to keep their places in the squad. And I think, you know, it was not really the case. Well, it might be the case, but again, we all know who, what Serrano's uh, capabilities and abilities are. We know that he's one of the you know top uh, quality players that uh, were uh, groomed in South Africa. You know, playing overseas now. And I think, you know, he. Played very well on the day and you know I, I hope that he, he keeps you know this such uh, performances and be consistent in this game so that you know Bafana Bafana can continue being a strong team going forward. Bafana Bafana continue to being a strong team well done to Bafana Bafana and also uh, to Mulife uh, Ntsege. Uh, moving away from international football um, Sepana, it was uh, mixed fortunes uh, for, for Chiefs um, uh, Ernst settling the score against uh, Peter Musimane on Saturday in the Shell Helix Cup and then the following down Chiefs were brought down to earth by uh, Celtic who won the game 2-0 uh, in the Makufa Cup. Your thoughts on those games? Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, uh I think I think I think I think what what, what happened is that you know uh, thing is Kizer Chiefs players you know really put their focus uh, and everything you know to their Sundowns game. I mean that was the biggest game you know. I mean you know uh, leading uh, in leading to the game they were you know. Uh, Beefs between the, the, the two sides, especially the coaches. You know, we've seen you know Peter Musimani and and us meeting up going against each other. And you know, on the day actually it was it was it was that you know we they wanted to see who uh, become victorious on the day. And I mean I mean Kiza Chiefs played very well on the day. But okay, you know the likes of Kamabila the way you know they were excellent. And Leonardo Castro. I mean I, I've never seen Ch Kiza Chiefs play you know that well you know in a very long time. And I mean. Such performances, you know, especially against a Sundowns team, will certainly, you know, uh, boost their confidence going forward. You know, especially the Telkom knockout coming up. You know, uh, yes, they lost the, Mac the Macufa Cup, you know, to Celtic, which I mean, they were won this competition for a very long time. Uh, but again, I think, uh, you know, on the day, you know, Celtic uh, played very well, and um, I think after seeing what uh, Chiefs did to Sundowns, we wanted to like bring them back to earth and like, hey, we can also beat you guys. You guys are not gonna beat us for nil at our at our own tab. And you know, I was I was happy to see to see uh, you know Tumiso Mohagwe, you know, uh, scoring you know uh, Celtic's second goal. I'm very happy for him, knowing that you know he's been through a, a very difficult time. You know, uh, signing for Chippa United, net, Chippa United, not getting uh, uh, much game time there and you know now at Celtic and I think he's gonna be you know one of the top players and I, I, I remember I spoke to like Baloy about him you know how what kind of a player he is and he said to me we, we're gonna see the best out of him uh, he, he just needs uh, game time and I think Tumiso Mohaku will be one of the greatest assets at Celtic. There you have it uh, South Africa um, again we say congratulations to Chiefs uh, for the Shell Helix Cup and also Celtic for winning the Makufa Cup. 
Uh, you might have your views uh, on today's topic or any football related matter. You can share those on our social media platforms. On Twitter, we're at Pagati, on Facebook, Pagati. Until next time, enjoy the beautiful game.